Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I just want to show you a very quick and easy way to sound really modern and jazzy on the piano uh, in terms of the chords with one little formula. Like everything in life, it's it's going to take um, a couple of goes, a couple of rep bits of repetition and obviously you can take it further than what I'm going to show you but it really sounds jazzy instantly. So what it is, is this. I'm playing with my right hand. The other hand, of course, it's the same. So how, what is this chord and how to play it and how to use it? So um, it's in a, if you don't know much about musical theory, I'll just say that it's obviously three notes, which are what are called an interval of a perfect fourth apart. So this this is four notes. Away from this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We can keep doing it. Looks like it's very, very jazzy. Sounds really cool. The easiest way to work them out um, is to count in semitones because they're intervals of four. It's got a perfect fourth. The distance between them is always the same. So a semitone is a neighbouring note. So from this note, this is a C, to here, it's called a semitone. This is two semitones. One, two, three, four, five. And that's it. We just need to count five semitones from any note, not including the note horn. One, two, three, four, five. That's an interval of five semitones, also known as a perfect fourth in sort of technical terminology. If we apply that rule, just counting up another five semitones, it sounds great. So from this note, not including this note, one, two, three, four, five. Using this uh, rule of semitones, a semitone is a neighboring note, step by step. Sounds like the beginning to Star Trek if, you, if you're old enough to have watched the original series. If I want to go another, to another uh, note, I can add another note. It's just the same thing. Not including that note, five semitones. One, two, three, four, five. Sounds great. Sounds really, really cool, I think. So something you could practice if you want to take it to the next step. So if I take go back to just having the three notes, let's say the C, F and B flat, would be to practice them going down in semitones or up, but for the moment I'll show you going down. So just move every one, this go down, this will go down a semitone, this is down a semitone, this down a semitone. You could use, let's say for, for ease, fingers one, two and five in the right hand. If you really want to learn that, maybe just try three of them. Just start three different chords. One, two, three, and then go back again. Once you've got that, of course you can continue. So you've got the, the whole octave. So how can we use this? Well, the easiest way of thinking about it is uh, I mean, this chord can be described in lots of different ways, but the easiest way, just think about the bottom note. So that's a C. So if we can play in the C blues scale. And this one, for example, starting on an F there. Blue scale. I mean, I'll put that in, in another video anyway, but you can hear how it works. And I'm 
playing the blue scale over more than just an octave range. I think it's about an octave and a half there. But initially, just get this really cool chord going. Switch it to the left hand. of 70s New York to me but um, it's still a very very cool chord progression or a chord I should say okay thanks very much for watching I hope that was helpful please give me a like and subscribe to my channel I'll keep posting more videos just a little useful hopefully useful things like this you can incorporate into your playing thanks very much bye for now